Oh, just a few words here. And the Father and the Ghost, amen. On this, yes, on the Sunday after the Ascension, Saint God, we begin to read the, or on the Feast of Saints, we begin to read the book of Saint James. And Saint James says that if any man, or, or Saint John, I believe it is actually, if any man says that he is without sin, then he is a liar, and Christ is not in him. And then if any man does not walk well, away from sin, with the try to, to walk without sin, then uh, Christ is not in him. There's two statements which seem to be contradictory. And then St. Augustine, speaking about it, he says that there are two ways of being lifted up. He says one way to be lifted up is to be lifted up without God. And when we're lifted up without God, then it is the sin of pride. The other way to be lifted up, says St. Augustine, is to seek safety. Like the when there's a trouble down in the town, and there's trouble down in the, in the, in the, in the, uh, in the city, you will run up to the top of the hills to escape the attack of the enemy. Or there's a flood, you run up to the top of the hill in order to escape the flood, and we seek safety. And so there's one way to, to flee, to be lifted up. There's another way to be lifted up. One way to be lifted up is to lift ourselves up without God, in which case this is the sin of pride. And the other way to be lifted up is to uh, go up towards God. And this is going up towards God to seek safety. So there's two ways to be lifted up, says St. Augustine. And then St. James speaks of the way of, of the sin, that a man, or any man who says that he doesn't have any sin... He is not speaking the truth, and the truth is not in him. And then he says, that a few verses later, that we must walk without sin. And if we don't walk without sin, the truth is not in us. And so, and so, and so perhaps the, it seems like a contradiction, that we must walk without sin, or truth is not in us, and we must admit that we are in sin, or with sin, or the truth is not in us. And St. Saint, uh, Saint Augustine, also speaking of this, says, refer to the just man. The just man falls seven times a day, it says in sacred scripture. And what, is, what makes a just man just is that there's two things, there's a war going on inside of him. He's fighting. He's fighting to remain just. And as he is aware of his battle to fight to remain just, he keeps falling in weakness into sin. But when the just man falls into sin, he gets up. And then he repents of his sin. But then he is weak again and he falls and he gets up. And he's weak and he falls and he gets up. So that it can be truly said... He is walking without sin because he is going away from it. It is also truly said that he falls into sin because of his weakness and he is not without sin. And so both statements are true. He is, and so that in the supernatural life, we see the difference between the just man and the sinner. The sinner falls once during the day. He falls once, but he does not get up. He does not make any efforts to overcome his weakness, to overcome his sin. We see one example of this is the occasions of anger. When we experience occasions of anger, we notice that most souls, when they are tempted to anger, as many times as they are tempted, they fall. And they don't ever fight against it. So if we get seven occasions of anger, we get angry seven times. We get two occasions of anger, we get angry two times. Five occasions of anger, we get angry five times. But the just man, he will sometimes defeat the temptation of anger and walk without sin. Other times he will be weak, and he will fall into the temptation of anger, and he will be in sin. And then, but when he falls, because he wants to be over the anger, he will immediately go to confession or beg repentance of our Lord and make a firm resolution to not be angry the next time. And so he may fall seven times a day, he will get up seven times a day. And so the just man is one who is waging war against sin. One who is waging war not only negatively against sin, but he is also trying to seek safety, says St. Augustine. The just man is in a battle in which he's fighting against sin and trying to wage war against sin, but he's also trying to climb to safety. He's trying to get closer to God, where it is easier to stay away from sin, and more frequent will be the rises, and less frequent will be the falls as we continue in this battle. But we won't count it by numbers, but by how strong the battle is in the heart. And that is why it is hard to judge the state of a soul. Some souls sin many times, other souls sin many times. But some souls sin many times, and they're not waging war against the devil. And they're not trying to overcome sin, and they're not trying to grow in the love of God. 
Other souls said many times, because that's just what happens, and they're making no efforts to overcome their sin or to get closer to God. And so from the outside it's difficult to tell. God sees into the heart. But, there's, uh, but both things must be true. That we are walking without sin, and the truth is in us if we walk without sin, and that the just man also sins, and he falls. And if he does not uh, admit that he falls, then he is, the truth is not in him. The truth is in us if we admit that we fall and we're sinners. The truth is in us if we try to get up from those sins and try to walk in justice. And therefore, in St. James speaks these seemingly opposite statements in the same chapter, he is not contradicting himself. We must both be waging war against the sin and striving, striving to climb to God. We'll close that. God bless you all. Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Amen.